Hello people, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be doing a room makeover decor haul. Basically over the summer, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna redo my room because for years I was like, oh, I want a new bed or oh, I want to maybe paint my room. Like I had all these ideas of what I'd been wanting to do or change or get over the years and it finally just hit me all at once. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just change everything and do everything now. For context, what's been going on in the last couple weeks, month-ish, I have been working on a huge room transformation makeover. Right before school started too, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna redo my room a week or two before school starts. And honestly, I think that's why it's taking me longer to get it finished because now that school started, all the room stuff has kind of been on pause. It's a mess right now, but slowly but surely we're getting things done. So I am in my room. It is no longer the blue turquoisey color that it has been for years. And I love that color. I love blue. But over the years, I just began to realize the blue turquoise color that I had was just so bright and a little crazy. I'm like, okay, we need to dip it down. And I almost went with the lighter, babier blue, but I totally went the other way. And I was like, let's go pink. Full circle moment though, because when I was little, I had like a hot pink, bright pink room. Anyway, just to explain, this video is not going to be my room transformation video, room makeover, room tour, like not that. That is not happening in this video because my room is not done. So that's why we're just going to stick to this little corner of the room. So again, this video is just room decor haul. The stuff I got from my room to decorate. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the decor haul. Okay, I've decided I'm going to break this haul up into categories of where I got the stuff from. I got stuff from Ikea, Target, and Amazon. And we're going to start off with Ikea because I got most of my stuff from there. So, yeah, let's get into that. Okay, first things first because it's the closest to me. I got this little plant. There's the pot and then there's the plant. Fake plant obviously because I don't know how to take care of real plants. And it's kind of like a hanging plant and it kind of drapes like this. My vision was once I get a bookshelf, I'm gonna put this over the corner or something of the bookshelf and it'll like hang all cutesy with the little lines. And then I didn't like just the plain black pot that it came in. So I got this cute little gray pot and you just put it in there and then boom. Also, I'm gonna try my best to like link everything down below that Ikea stuff. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that stuff online, but we'll try. Anyway, back to Ikea. I got another little cute plant thingy. Again, fake. It was the little plant and the pot. This pot is so freaking cute. And this one's actually like ceramic, you know what I mean? I also don't know the prices of everything, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say, but this, Obviously like plastic, this is ceramic heavy, but it's super cute. And then we have this cute little plant, you know, the vibes, the vibes. Next, uh, I forgot all my Ikea stuff is like in the big bag. We got the big Ikea bag, you guys. It was only a dollar. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be more, but we have officially the big Ikea blue tote bag thing. Honestly, if I wanted to, I could just do an Ikea haul because this stuff, actually it's not that much stuff in here. It's just kind of heavy. So to start off with the little things, this is just dumb little decor that I got. But I saw it there and I got really distracted with it and it's fun. So I got this little hourglass thingy, timer thingy. I think it's two minutes, if I'm correct. But it's just a cute little glass, hourglass timer thingy. Next, I got this cute candle. I haven't even opened it yet, but in the store, should I open it to show you? I'll open it to show you. In the store, obviously it was unpackaged. They had like the sample candle, but it's so pretty. I don't know what the name of it is because on the sticker thingy, it says sweet pea and then violet. And then what is that? Cassie? I don't know words. Anyway, it is a very floral perfumey set. I remember correctly. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Oh my gosh, just taking off the wrapping, like, I smell it. Cute little candle. It's such a pretty color. I'm very much about this color, cream. It smells like flowers and like perfume. I don't even like have candles. That's never been my thing. Like, ooh, candles and scents and all that stuff. But I just thought it was cute and it smells nice without even having to burn it. It's very floral, obviously. 
I'm getting like baby also, if that makes sense. Like baby lotion, but floral and perfume and grandma. I don't know, I don't care, but I like it. <laughs> okay, next thing again, I got a little carried away <laughs> with the candles. It's just, it smells so good in that section of Ikea. So I got mini candles and you're probably like, why did you get those little mini party candles? Like there's a lot in here. There's 30 of these. I'm so dumb, it said right here and I'm all counting. There's 30 little candles in here. But the thing is, it goes with this. I saw this little mini candle holder thingy, gold, cute, and I was like, ooh, I want that. But in order to get that, like, I need the little candles. And these are peach orange. It smells so good. Maybe some people don't like that, the sweet, fruity scent, because it's, it's strong. Even in the packaging, like, I can smell it. If you don't like the fruity smells, I'm sorry, but I do, so I got it. And these little candles actually burn for four hours. Again, not that I plan on burning the candles. I just like the way it'll look together, but just like the scent on its own it smells nice okay next things from ikea they're kind of bigger things i haven't put them together yet but these are like little storage boxes i got two of them though they're for my bookshelf whenever that shows up to put it like on the bottom shelf just to like store some of the smaller things and then last but not least there's two of these i got these like I don't even know what material this is. This woven cubby thing. Again, I have yet to put it together, but I wanted new cubbies for my cubbies. Currently, I have like these two little thin material cubbies, but I'm like, that's just not the vibe anymore. So I got these like thick cubby to put my stuff in. So I just feel like this is cuter and looks more like boho-y. Not that that's the vibe. I don't even know what my room vibe is. It's kind of all over the place. In my head, it looks nice. My vision, in my head, it works. Who knows once everything's put together, but yeah, I got two of these like woven cubby things. Okay, so that was it for the Ikea stuff. Now onto the Target portion of the haul. Okay, so I actually didn't mean to get Target stuff. I went to Target with my mom for school stuff. That was my mindset, which I already explained in the school supplies haul. They had like little things. So I got some school stuff, but you know, as I was making my way to the back of Target where the school stuff was, obviously I passed by some things and I was like, ooh. So first things first, in the little cheapy section, like right when you walk in Target in the little dollar, five dollar section, I got this little cute circle pillow, throw pillow, decor pillow, and I just thought it was a cute color, mustard color, very simple, and I like these little walls on the top. <laughs> very cute, very soft. It's for my little, little, it's actually pretty big. My chair, my Ikea chair that I have on that side of the room, just a little accent pillow, that's what I'm thinking of. An accent pillow just to, you know, pop of color. The chair is white, so, you know, vibes. Anyway, next thing from Target, I got this. I didn't even really know what it was i was just kind of walking around so when i went to the stationary part of target i found this little organizer pencil holder i just was like oh i want a pencil holder for my desk so i was like okay cute little pencil holder you know and i was like oh cool it has a cute little phone stand like that's nice i just picked it up because i'm like i like this bamboo style but then after i bought it i realized it says it's a wireless charger so i did not necessarily want a wireless charger but hey cool that i got one i've yet to see if it works but whatever if it doesn't work i don't care because that's not even what i went for anyway i was just more like a desk pencil holder and cool phone stand but i guess it's a wireless charger so i'll let you know whenever i set this up if it works but i got it so yeah <laughs> Next thing from Target, I got this. It's actually a locker shelf, but I got it. So I could put it in this cubby thingy because I have like just these snow globe and little things like stuff that doesn't even reach the top of the cubby. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put the shelf here and then I can lay more stuff on top of the shelf. Little notebooks or my laptop there, you know what I mean? So I got the shelf to divide that cubby thingy and it luckily like it barely goes over, I think one of the snow globes the cinderella one in the back but it works okay and final thing from target i got these draping curtain string twinkly lights led curtain string lights so these just kind of drape i if you remember my old room if you're new here you don't remember it but if you know you know over my old bed i had all my polaroids and i had string lights 
that kind of went this way. Currently, I don't have that set up at the moment. Obviously, there's nothing here because my Polaroids are packed away somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. A lot of my stuff is all over the house. So for now, the walls are very blank, which is why I wanted to get this haul done so I can start putting stuff up. So I got these string curtain lights to put behind my bed. And then I'll put the string lights with the Polaroids on this wall. <laughs> I feel like this just makes life easier because they string down. And this example, they have actually stuff clipped to it, but I don't know, I'll decide when I put them up. But for now, the plan is to put the string lights behind my bed. And then we'll see what we do with this wall. Maybe I'll put up Polaroids here too. I'm not quite sure, but they're gonna go somewhere. Anyway, that is that for the Target stuff. Now onto Amazon. First things first, actually, I keep having to pick this up. I got this little lamp. Before I had like this blue lamp thingy from Target. I liked it because it had pencil holders with it. It was like a desk lamp technically. So I was looking for a new lamp like that. Obviously I didn't want the blue one anymore. It went with the turquoise room, but not anymore. So I'm like, okay, I want a new lamp, either like white or neutral or whatever, like a simple, not as crazy color. That's the same, I wanted it a lamp, I wanted it to have a phone charger, and I wanted it to have the cubby thingies. Did I say that already? The old lamp, it also had like an outlet thingy to charge my phones. I looked forever and ever for a lamp, like I couldn't find anything with those three essential things. I'm like, okay, something has to go. I decided the pencil case holders was gonna have to go, and it all worked out because I now have this pegboard here. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now all I need is the lamp with the charger. I was on Amazon, and I was like, oh my God, I found the perfect freaking lamp cute little neutral colors it has two usb ports and then the lamp but a fun little extra because my old lamp was just like a switch and an off switch but this one so fun you tap it and it lights up and it has three settings i don't know how much you can pick up on them because it's daytime but in the night it actually makes a huge freaking difference so there's three levels and it's freaking like you tap it okay second thing from amazon second to last thing because again i didn't get much i really don't have money now i can't afford more stuff so it is what it is i got an led light thingy i got the peace sign neon light and it actually comes with these little hook thingies to hook it to your wall so that's nice it's a cute little peace sign and it's usb so i can actually show you right here okay so the light is plugged in and it has a little on off switch here i'll take off the plastic later but for now just to show you really quickly look super cute i just thought you know good vibes chill vibes i'll put it over there somewhere and it'll light up because i'll obviously have the string lights here and probably more string lights there so you know different vibes and i think it's super cool so yeah okay now for the last and final thing is this cute wall collage kit aesthetic wall collage kit i feel like as of lately what a lot of people are doing in the rooms is like wall collages i see that everywhere and i'm like i freaking want one too not a big one i know there's some people who do like big prints and take up their whole walls and these are just normal four by six obviously some people like make them and put them together but i was like i don't have time to go on pinterest and look for them like that was my plan i wanted to make like a whole video on just wall collage me picking the prints and blah, blah blah but then i was like i don't have time for that anymore so i went on amazon so there's people who did it for me and they have like a bunch of different aesthetics this one's very neutral but they had like blue aesthetic pink aesthetic red black and white like there's so many online and eventually i just settled on this again just to keep things neutral it has 50 pieces 50 pictures i'm not quite sure where i'm gonna put them yet but i have plenty of empty space it was very overwhelming picking the aesthetic that i wanted to go with but i'm happy with the ones that i chose i feel like it'll go nicely with the room so yeah that is that for the room decor haul eventually we'll do the room tour makeover video again i still don't know the vibes in here very confusing i wanted like minimalist but i'm not super minimalist i'm like a messy minimalist if that makes sense like i like the chill vibes and the nice aesthetic but i feel like there's extreme minimalist blank walls very subtle there's not much happening in the room i'm not like that at all i like stuff in my room i like to have stuff on the walls blank space 
bothers me. I'm missing a lot of my stuff. Eventually I'll put my stuff back up, but I like to keep things simple, like furniture for the most part, neutral, beige, and like white. With the wall collage, it can be like overwhelming, which is why I didn't pick a crazy color. I'm like, okay, simple, neutral colors. So I'm a minimalist in the sense that I like neutral colors, but at the same time, I like to have stuff. <laughs> Pinterest TikTok vibes, if that makes sense. Like the minimalist boho simple aesthetic comes from Pinterest, but then like the messy young side of things, I feel like comes from TikTok, like the wall collage. The neon sign, I've also seen a lot of those on TikTok. So yeah, I feel like I rambled on long enough. Again, my room is a mess. You'll see it when you see it for now. Sneak peek of the vibes. Kind of all over the place, but I feel like it works. You'll see it when it comes together. I've talked long enough. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, if you like what I got from my room. Subscribe if you're new and you know, you wanna see what my room looks like, subscribe and eventually you'll see what it looks like. So stay tuned for that. I think I am done now with this video. That is that. See y'all next time and yeah, bye.